Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today I have a houseplant haul for you, but a lot of it is variegated. Oh, hold on a second. Let me go get one more. Oh wait, Paco, come here. Today we have a special guest. Oh, this is Paco. Hey Paco. He's a really good boy. He's the sweetest little doggy. Yes, you are. He loves everyone, even my cat. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're dog setting right now, so I just wanted to introduce you to Paco. Let's go get that Marble Queen, okay? I forgot that I got three other ones other than the Marble Queen that I didn't show you last month either. There is a lot of plants. <laughs> so this is going to be a haul for June and part of July, because it's only, what, the 6th of July today? I've been getting back into buying more house plants again. Now that it's getting hot and I don't want to be outside, very much anymore. Go say hi to everyone too. Oh my goodness. Hi Gunther. <laughs> you can see Gunther's tail. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the haul. Let's see if I can, I can't reach everything, but we will start with what I've gotten oldest. I don't know what this is called. I didn't save the tag and I don't know why. It was at Walmart for like $2. And I was just there getting some other stuff, and I happened to walk by it, and so I got it. <laughs> it's really interesting. I just liked the roughly texture on the leaves and the pink variegation in it. I just think it's beautiful. Did I get some other things? I don't remember either, Paco. So, I got this Marble Queen Pothos. I'm getting to where I have quite a few different types of pothos now, especially now that I got this neon pothos too. But this one, I just thought was so pretty. There's lots of people that talk about their Marble Queen pothos and yada yada, but I've never seen one in person and it is really beautiful. There's lots of very interesting variegation on it. I'm interested to see what type of lighting conditions I need to keep it white, or if I need to keep it white, if it's something that's just going to fade and then the new leaves will come up white, or if they start out more yellowish and then they turn to white. I'm not really sure, but there's only, like, these front ones are the only really white ones. My, uh, Pearl and Jade one, Pearls and Jade Pothos, it's kind of more of a yellowish white now too, but it was burning when it was in too much sun, so not really entirely sure about these variegated pothos with the white but we'll see what all ends up happening with them my enjoy of course is staying very white i'm not having any problems with the variegation on that turning more yellow so i don't know if you know about that though please let me know in the comment section then i also got this fern it's like a boston fern but it has a little bit more of a rickrack to it so it's like some sort of different type it's dealing with some pests though so I'm keeping it on its own for right now and keeping it outside because I find that if I keep plants outside then generally they don't spread to other plants and they get rid of them quicker especially for spider mites sometimes they'll just will like kill the spider mites just having them outside for some reason even though spider mites can be out in your yard too I don't know but anyways now that I have cat hair all over my pants, thank you very much, Sentinel. I appreciate it. I also got, I'm still leaving the lid on this for some reason, mostly just to keep my husband out of it because last time he overfed this, Venus flytraps only need about like a bug a month. And being in your house, they usually will naturally do that on their own, just catch one. Because once the flytrap gets one, then it digests it, but that trap will die. It will grow another one, but if you overfeed it, then, you know, it'll die, which is basically what he did. And then also I forgot to water it, so it was both our fault. <laughs> then I had a yard sale and had more money to buy more plants, so yeah, 
I went to the nursery that I like to go to for houseplants and I got two variegated um, Peperomia obtusifolias. So this one is just so beautiful and striking. They're both very similar. It's just this one, this one of course is just very white on the edges and the underside is really cool on some of them too. And there's like this leaf is a little bit more, has a little bit more green to it and the rest of it is kind of the same. Whereas this one, it has some that's exactly like the other one, but then it also has some other kind of pattern leaves. And so I basically got the same plant, but this one's just a little bit different. And I just, I don't know, I want to see how they change and how different they each get because they're both very interesting and they're different in their own ways while still being extremely similar. But, you know, just glancing at them. This one is obviously more green and this one is obviously not as green. So, I don't know, I'm just really interested to see how these work. And the stems are really cool too because they're like this red on them. At the same time, I got a little Hartley philodendron because I don't have very many philodendrons. I think I have one. <laughs> And I really like this one because it's just plain old green and I don't have many or yeah I have like two trailing plants that are just green no I have three yeah or four I guess technically but I don't have any that are bigger leaves so I wanted to get something that will fill in space and look large eventually I will probably be putting it up in my living room because I have three spots in here that I kind of fill up one of them I think I'm going to maybe do my neon pothos and then another one with this one I want to start growing the just a regular Hartley philodendron because I never have and I think it's just so interesting and it's beautiful in its simplicity and its shape so an interesting way to figure out if you have an epiprenium or a philodendron or a pothos or a philodendron is to look at the nodes so you can see these aerial roots right here those go outwards they're kind of more spidery and there's always two in my experience anyways cat what are you doing you're not allowed on the coffee table oh my gosh Okay, so and then you can see where the leaf comes out. There's the sheath right there, and then up here it's forming a new leaf. There is an aerial node right here, and it's just one sticking out, and it's thicker and not so spidery. With this one, the new leaves aren't really like there isn't really much of a sheath. They just kind of grow out of it, and then they grow they grow like away from it, and they don't really keep it. Whereas these tend to keep those little tendrils on them. So that's the differences. After I got those plants, I went to Lowe's and I was looking around. I'm like, why am I here? There's nothing here that I want. And then I saw this beauty hiding behind the other plants. There are some leaves that look like they might be reverting. I don't know that much about neon pothos versus neon philodendrons. So this might just be the way that neon pothos are. See. It's not very much and it's only in a few places. But I'm definitely going to keep this in my living room where I get southern light for it so that way I can make sure that it gets plenty of sunshine so that way it doesn't revert too much. I hope if that's what it's doing. I don't really know. I do think it's beautiful having a little bit of the green on there and giving it more texture. But I do also just love the bright, beautiful color that it has. Then, I went there the other day and I got this little cactus. Actually, my son got it. Let's see if that will work. Is that working to focus it? I don't know. But it's adorable. Um, it's a color cup cactus. Straw flower. So basically, this is in a colorful cup and it has a fake flower on top. 
So that is the kind of cactus it is. It has very pokey needles on it, but they're not too bad as long as you don't stab it right on there. If I just go like this, it doesn't bother me. There are no hooks. This one is adorable and I like how it's leaning over a little bit. It's just a little wonky and it's cute. He also picked out this pot for it to sit in. This is one that I've already had. But that day I was actually out shopping for pots, not plants. And the only pot that I found was this one from TJ Maxx. It was on clearance for $3, regularly seven. And it's made in Portugal. So I don't know why it was only $3. I guess nobody bought it, but it's beautiful. But I will be using this as a cover pot because there is no drainage hole. So I'm going to basically just take this off of here and probably plop it into there and then put um, some macrame around it to hang it up, I think is what I'm going to do. What am I going to do with the rest of my video? Oh yeah, I'm going to plant up some plants. So yeah, this one I was just, I'm just going to put in that pot, but um, isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. Oh, I need to take this off. While I'm at it though, I'm gonna go get some propagations. When I plant up propagations, I like to make sure that I keep them nice and wet for the first couple weeks. I water them more often than my other plants because the roots are adjusting from a water medium because of water. I put them in my uh, fish tank. They're adjusting from that to soil and it's kind of crazy for them. So now there's another green Miranda. Now that I've made a giant mess, I'm going to clean this up and show you the beautiful result. Hope you like this video and if you like houseplant hauls, houseplant tours, other houseplant videos, or if you like furniture, DIY things, and natural living kind of videos, then please do subscribe because I make lots of different kinds of things, mostly plant videos because I just change up my hobbies all the time. Just like plants is kind of my main hobby, I guess. The one that I stick with the most. I don't know. But um, 
Anyways, <laughs> if you like that, then please do subscribe. Also, let me know if you liked me repotting plants in the same video as me showing you the plants that I got. In that way, combining planting with haul. I don't know. Because I did a planting video and it was boring and I didn't like it. And so I didn't post it and I just scrapped all the footage because it was outside and it was windy. And I needed a dead cat because I also I needed an external microphone. But that's beyond the point. Anyways, I hope you have a really great day <laughs> and I will talk to you later and